Guess what we got? Bikes again. That ramen was amazing. That was the best like broth I've ever had in my life. And we found a beach, but there's this like super sketched out ropeway to get down there. So we're just riding along the main road and we saw this. We don't know what it is. We're going to go find out. Good morning everybody. It's gonna be about 22 degrees today, which is gonna be one of the warmest days so far in Japan. Heading down to, you know where? Starbucks, let's meet up with John. And then we're gonna to head to a island. I'll tell you that in a second. I thought I'd found a bin. It's actually a fire extinguisher. I was like in shock that I thought I'd found a bin. There's like never any bins in Japan, ever. Oh, I really want some fruit, but that's like $9 for a fruit bowl. This shopping center is so good. They got like fried goods. Look at that. Salad. When they were open, there's a guard like at the front door. Wouldn't let anyone in because nothing opens till 10 here. And everyone was waiting at the front. But it looked like there was people already shopping in there, but it was just like all the workers. There was like an army of workers in there. So I finally bumped into John. What's on the agenda today, John? Well, first we're gonna track down Snack of the Day, which is one of my favorite drinks in this city. Yeah. Then we're going to Matsushima, where hopefully, for Dale's sake, we can pick up some bikes and then we can get them moving and exploring. And it's a cool little island off the coast of Sendai, apparently. Let's check it out. Boom, Snack of the Day. Shake bar from yeah. Zundu and the shake. Explain what it is, John. Basically, Zundu is a bean native to the Sendai area, which depending on how you prepare it, changes flavor. Now we're having a Zundu shake. Hmm, that's good. It's like a nutty milkshake. Very nutty sort of vanilla milkshake. And we'll try the, uh, the bar. We'll try the bar. Sort of like a um, LCM bar. Milkshake's better, but this is still nice. It's good. Yeah, it's like an LCM. It tastes a bit like the bean. Three and a half for the milkshake, four for the um, bar, I reckon. Four and a half for the milkshake, three for the bar. I'd get both again. Definitely. Cheers. So Matsushima is about 30 minutes on the Senseki line. Get off at Matsushima Kaigen Station, and then from there you can either walk or bike. And we're gonna hopefully bike to the bay. And there's a couple of islands we can go on as well. So we've arrived at Matsushima. We're gonna go to the information center and look for a bike hiring place and have a good look around. Huge area. So Sendai is here. And we're way up there on that where that dot is. Japan loves its tunnels. Could have easily built a road over there, but it went straight through the mountain. There's your cave parking. There's a bike store down near the station. We're gonna go there and see what the pricing's like and hopefully get a couple of deadly treadleys so we can get around quicker. This looks like the place. They look pretty good too. The back trays and front trays. Mm, decent size wheels. Different gears. Two, Two bikes. Guess what we got? Bikes again. Let's explore Matsushima. These bikes are way different to the other one. They're low profile. They're like all the other ones that all the Japanese people ride. Right, we just stopped at a family mart. We're gonna get some supplies. And then we're gonna to go to the Museum of Glass. We've got two hours of these bikes and they cost us a thousand yen each for two hours. Can't go to the island with them. So we're gonna go and have a look along the coast. And we'll come back to the island to the temple later. So we've made it to the glass museum. That took way longer than it should have. We went down like one wrong turn. 1200 yen to get in, which is like 14 bucks. Looks like it's a bit of a museum slash gallery slash exhibit so let's check it out If you've got a casual 
one million yen. Really cool pictures though. 400,000 yen, 300,000 yen, 400,000 yen. Mona. And all our stuff still on the bikes. We love Japan, no one stole anything. We get back on the bikes and head to a temple museum called Zoruji Temple. Found a sweet little temple spot and like a really cool like old school Japan side street with temples and gardens and all sorts of stuff going on. So we're just riding along the main road and we saw this. We don't know what it is, we're gonna go find out. It's got a good view, we love views. Park the bikes there, let's go have a look. Good luck up the hill. Little bamboo. <laughs> you can go up the top. Shoes off. Yeah. 300 yen to get up. Definitely no elevator in this joint. All stairs. Look at the stairs here, they get gnarly as. Bikes parking down there. Good view up here. You can see just over the city. See all the islands out here, all the boats. There's a temple here, that's the island we're going to yep. next, once we drop the bikes off. Definitely worth it. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Look at this thing. Not in my desk. It's a bumblebee. So happy to be in Japan. We've got about four minutes to get these bikes back or we're gonna get penalized. Can we make it? Made it back just in time. John was uh, two minutes late. They're gonna dock you another two hours. That was good fun. Train station's there. Come straight down in a little spot here. Thousand yen, two hours, good value. Nice little shop. When we went to pay John, didn't have the right change and she didn't have change. So he had to pay her back and... So I ended up buying some snacks from her. So pretty nice lady. Kudos to her. He didn't have broomstick parking. <laughs> And I think now is as good a time as ever to do word of the day. Word of the day is Shima, which is Japanese for island since we're about to go over there to an island. So yeah, Shima. There you go, island in Japan. So we're walking across the bridge, walking across the bridge to the island I don't know the name of. I'll link it here. This bridge is really long, full of like islands and boats all scattered out in the harbour. This is a really cool spot. This is the map of the island, bridge up here. And we're walking around this way and we're currently here. A few more little tracks around to the south side and then through the middle for the, I'm guessing, flowers. We've got some primitive bins here. The most bins we've seen the entire time. And we found a beach, but there's this like super sketched out rope way to get down there. The only way to get down there is like stairs with like a rope and it looks super slippery. <laughs> and we're just like dominating this. Didn't even need the rope. John's like stacking it behind me. And the beach. Yeah, made it. We've got our own little secluded beach. This is sick. There's caves over here. Indiana Jones-esque. Must be some sort of temple thing. There's even money here. So what did you think, John? Oh, I thought that was stunning. Good views of the bay. Great little walk. Little islands. It's only 200 yen as well. Yep. It's pretty good. You can spend as long as you like there. Matsushima Bay. Definitely recommend coming here. Just gonna get an ice cream and then we're gonna head over to this island chain here. Little couple of bridges to go over to it, and then there's a temple at the end of it. We're gonna get some ice cream first, though. Oh, so refreshing on a hot day. Let's go to the temple. Right, we're heading back to central Sendai. We've got an observation deck to go up, don't we, John? Yes, sir, we. And dinner. If you can't tell, we're back in Sendai, about to hit the swarm of people. It's peak hour on a Saturday. And it wouldn't be complete unless we went to another observation deck, would it? Nope. What's the cost, John? Well, according to my knowledge, it is $3.99. So we're gonna go up and have a look at another view of Sendai. That's the, the building there, right there. 
You got the Buddha over there. The Buddha we never got to see. The castles are over this way, I think. And it's such a green city. The big pipe there is the big mall that Sendai has. We're gonna walk through it and get dinner. Thirty-one floors up. What a view! And it was free. Good views, day, night, or twilight. Golden hour, which is between the last hour of sunset. That's probably the best time because you get a good dusk view as well as twilight night view as well. We're gonna head to a food court and get some dinner. We're thinking ramen. ramen. We're not sure. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Well, we have to line up to get ramen because it is a Saturday night. Check out the crowds. Absolutely mental here. This ramen place is so small. Can you hear that? <laughs> hear the slurping? We both got the same thing. John got a larger size. Can you just bring onion drum a little bit? A little bit. Just make it all fancy. There we go. Let's dig in. How good was that? Very good. Let's go. That ramen was amazing. That was the best like broth I've ever had in my life. Well, I hope you enjoyed today at Matsushima Bay. Comment down below anything you want to know about in Sendai. Hit the like button so more people can enjoy these videos and see more of Japan. And we'll see you guys tomorrow in Tokyo. And you're in Tokyo, and definitely visit Sendai. Keep watching. See ya.